You know, I think it's interesting. I'm not trying to say that there's anybody that's worse than they really are. And it might be true to say that there's that that's not the discussion, talking about people who are worse than they really are. But where does that take us to? You know, if you're talking about people who's not worse than they really are, then why don't people want to talk about anything that has anything to do with Jesus Christ? You know, um, homeless people out on the streets. This is where he wants us to start, I guess. And you could talk about homeless people, not worse than they really are. And it could be any type of a person, any nation or language or race of a homeless person. And he's not worse than he really is, for instance. And I think that what we really need to do is find out some kind of a way to understand that we're going to succeed if we're cooperating with Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? And if it's too much for you, what does that mean? That if it's too much for somebody to do that, then they're not going to take the credit for that. They're not going to win this thing with Jesus Christ. They're not, they're not very qualified for their Christianity. They're not going to make it too far because it's supposed to pay off. You know what I mean? Christianity is not just a big a joke of a thing where you may or may not succeed with your Christianity. Uh, when you talk about that, you're talking about other people and you don't have the right to fail. You know what I mean? And um, so I, I think that what we need to, to understand is that, um, is, is, is that um, homeless people, okay, homeless people are not going to be receiving anything from the volunteer shelter for the rest of their life, you know. Um, the servant is greater than the one who's sitting at the table at the at the, um, at the volunteer shelter. This is what it takes for us to figure that out. And then we do figure that out, you know. This means that, um, what this means is that, um, is that, this person is doing, doing a kind of a thing of their own, you know what I mean, at the shelter with these women and children. They're doing a thing of their own out there. And so you need to learn from what we already know, you know, about the shelter, about the services, you know, um, how to stay away from these people, how to give them their space enough to um, accomplish what we need these people to accomplish in society what we believe in as society. If you can't have people taking care of these kids or these pregnant women at these shelters, then what's it even all about? And you need to learn from these homeless people how we keep our distance from the shelter, how we let these people accomplish what they're accomplishing.